Hello, my awesome and amazing Capricorns. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Okay, so we had a 6, 8, 11. Looks like we are going to the number 25. Some of you Capricorns could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. You could also be dealing straight up with another Capricorn, picking up on Taurus and Gemini energy born in the month of May. Could also be dealing straight up with the Cancerian energy, seeing that through the number 18, as well as Scorpio and Aries energy through the number 16. Pisces, could be dealing with the Pisces, power of number 12. However, you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius or another Capricorn born in the month of December. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you Capricorns could have been born in 1961, 1962, 1965, or 1968. You could have also been born in 1951, 1952, 1956, or 1958 for my more mature audience. You could have been born in 1981, 1982, 1985, or possibly 1986, again, for some of you. So, going to the power of number 25 for the beautiful star sign of Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, One, two, three, four. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Capricorn need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Hermit. Some of you could be in hermit mode right now, or if you're dealing with a specific person, there could be no contact going on right now. Uh, somebody could be going through the dark night of the soul, seeking wisdom, clarity, or insight. You might be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. So somebody's in hermit mode. Okay. Or it could be somebody has been in observation <clears throat> of you behind the scenes. The Six of Wands. Capricorn, you could be going through, we'll say, an elevation in your life right now. Or you're going to be going through one in the near future, possibly over the next six days or maybe even six weeks. But something here about good news or good news is going to be coming in from somebody um, that you know, has remained silent with you. Um, maybe you felt like there was no closure in a connection that you had with a specific person. However, we do have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So there's like a faded turn of events in a positive direction. Um, some of you could be working in on a business right now, cut in the middle of the deck. We have the 10 of Pentacles. This could be about a marriage offer or you're leveling up your career and your financial status. Okay, so <clears throat> there could also be things going on between you and family members. Uh, <clears throat> maybe you chose to go no contact with certain family members just because of certain toxicities or behaviors or attitude, etc. Um, however, this is some of you have been waiting in silence. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, um, it almost feels like maybe some of you guys have been waiting in the wings, possibly to launch something or you're waiting for your moment in time to shine, okay? So I am going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle because I do feel that some of you guys have been dealing with somebody that 
either cut you out, cut you off, rejected you, ghosted you, etc. The timing just wasn't right for us. Okay. I'm not always in agreement with that statement because the law of attraction is constantly working. Okay. So when we do something or we meet somebody or, you know, when we're putting our best foot forward, it's always the right timing. Doesn't it feel more positive to say that every movement that I make is in the right timing? Because that would mean that you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting that gut pull, that every movement that you make, whether you feel you're making a small leap of faith or a big leap of faith or whatever the case may be, that it's always in the right timing. It sets more of a positive mindset. So what I'm feeling here is that this person didn't have enough courage or confidence, came up with a lot of excuses. So some of them could have said, no, the timing just isn't right for us, blah, blah, blah. You know, I think that is a little bit of an excuse, okay, on this person's part. Now, for example, if this person is dealing with a third party, that doesn't mean that when you met them and they're dealing with another third party that it wasn't the right timing to meet them because it was divinely orchestrated, okay? But what they have to do is if they're dealing with a third party, they've been upset, unhappy, but they know they want to be with you, then it's on them. The ball is in their court, obviously, to let go of whatever situation. So I'm almost feeling here that this person, in some respect, has delayed things on purpose. So from, from my viewpoint, outsider looking in, the timing just wasn't right for us. You either move it or you don't move it. That's how I'm seeing it. Okay. So, and I get it. If people are going through trauma and they're having to heal, obviously you don't want to be with a broken person that's not fully healed. Okay. That's one thing. Okay. So in truth, yeah, sure. That would take a little bit of time, but does it really have to? It's really about your mindset. Okay. So I do feel that somebody here has left you in a state of bewilderment, like not knowing which way is up or down, or you could be feeling like a little bit, maybe in an eight of swords mode with this person because they kind of, you know, as I see it, left you in limbo. Hang on one second. Letting Toto in. So I feel like they left you in limbo. Again, not knowing which way is up or down. And so, but no matter what you're feeling right now, uh, Capricorn, towards a specific person, we have to have enough strength and courage and willpower to keep moving forward. I don't feel in truth anybody is technically walking away here from a situation. Some of you could feel like you're in the hanged man mode right now, seeking that wisdom, clarity, and insight about this person. Sure, it could make you feel a little downhearted or disappointed that this person is not making the right moves. But if somebody's in silence and then there's good news coming in, then I would say what is going on between this action and this action, what happened? What could transpire? Um, so I will definitely take a look at that, but let's take a look at this good news coming in. There you go. So somebody is getting out of hermit mode because they went through their healing phase. And now you'll get tailwind of it. So this person is going to pop in out of the blue. So in the meantime, what they've been doing is they've been uh, burying themselves pretty much in the quicksand of work, trying to, trying to forget about you for the moment. But it's not working. Let's go into Kipper deck. If 
eventually they'll reach out. They'll probably want to give you a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture. Maybe you have a gift that you want to give this person. But in truth, you know, if you are trying to grab this person's attention through a tangible item or always, you know, trying to see what they're up to, Try not to spy in on their social media, you guys, especially if it's a trigger for you. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's just going to keep you all up in your head and not help you to move forward. So do your best. Don't check on their social media. Don't try to coerce them with a gift or something. So don't let it be on your part. This person needs the way I'm feeling it. They need to come to you flat out black and white, especially if they, maybe they made a promise to you, or maybe they said that they want to get together with you and take you out and get to know you. Or some of you Capricorns could have gone through a love bombing situation where this person was all about you and then poof, you know, disappeared and pulled a Harry Houdini Okay, or David Copperfield, and uh, you know, basically just left you again in this bewilderment. So, don't if they have a birthday coming up, Capricorn, and let's say your birthday passed, but they didn't wish you a happy birthday, do not wish them a happy birthday. Don't think that you're being the bigger person, you're actually being a bigger person by staying silent. Okay. So if anybody's going through that, thinking like, but it's their birthday, it's the holidays. No, stay in no contact. Stay in no contact because this person, either they're going through their karma or the dark night of the soul or they're trying to heal something, you know. But the timing of you meeting this person, it was divinely orchestrated because we did see the Wheel of Fortune card on the bottom of the deck. That represents fate and destiny, okay? So... Whatever you do, don't try to grab their attention with a tangible item. Let them be the one to give you something nice, okay? You know, a lot of times, I most of the Capricorns I have known are very giving, very generous. And so, you know, I've seen it to where some Capricorns, you know, they, they try to use their goodness to get people to like them every now and then. So I have seen that side before. Um, or try to be so meticulous. Listen, with this person, whoever this is that went silent on you, okay, don't overextend your energy to this person because I feel they owe you so much more. This person, I feel, to me, this poverty card is kind of like, I almost feel that this is a little bit like the Five of Pentacles, where they're going to try to come back, maybe beg you for a second chance, a third chance, fourth chance, fifth chance. But when they return, you got to know what to say to them, and you need to say the right thing. If you are stumped, and this is an ex or a potential suitor, you know, I recommend watching the video from the channel, The Art of Love, okay? So go to YouTube, type in The Art of Love, six things to say when your ex returns because they are, in my opinion, very diplomatic questions that can keep you calm so that you do not get into an argument with this person, okay? You don't need to raise your stress levels, you want to stay in a feel-good energy about yourself, your value, your self-concept, okay? But they could end up being the one saying, oh, baby, I want to be back with you. And, you know, so, but you got to know the right thing to say, the right questions to ask, because it's pretty much the who, what, where, why, when, and how. You, you're not going to just take this person back. And I sincerely hope you won't just take them back, Okay. You could have given them a gift and maybe they bypassed it, never said thank you or anything like that. Do not overextend yourself to this person anymore. So some of the messages that, you know, could come in from this person like, hey, I'm not dealing with that third party and I'd like to get together and, you know, like to talk with you. Do not allow them in your house. 
Don't allow them in your house because it could lead to other things and you don't want to get into that entanglement. If you're going to meet up with them, meet up with them in a public place. Don't try to give them any side jabs or sarcastic comments. Um, That's it, not going to work. It will backfire on you. But I feel like this person is coming back either because they want something from you, which I'm going to see why, why they're returning and then go into what makes them shift from being in hermit mode to coming in and, and opening up and communicating here. Yep. Clarifying the poverty card. There it is. I, I called it out. Five of Pentacles. This person is either going to get kicked to the curb by a third party. There could be a tumultuous ending for this person, whoever they're dealing with. They could have gotten backstabbed and betrayed, which a lot of you Capricorns have very keen intuition. Okay. So I know that a lot of you Capricorns definitely believe in karma. Okay. So what goes around comes around. So for some of you, you could already be predicting in your mind that this person is going to come back in your direction, okay, begging you for however many chances, okay, but you need to know the right thing to say, okay. So let's see what the transitioning energy is from this hermit into the six of wands. And whatever you do, and I'm not saying, you know, you guys will, but do not act even desperate towards them. They, it almost feels like they need you more than you need them, Capricorn. Okay. Because when you beg and try to extract, meaning extract answers out of, um, out of desperation um, they could start looking at you in a very different way and they're just going to, they're just going to keep moving on from you. Okay. So knowing your power, your value and your worth. Okay. Don't go chasing after them, whatever you do. Okay. So there's an, there's a wake up call. Okay. So from hermit into good news, this person is getting a revitalization in their energy and a it could be a spiritual awakening. What is the sun card for this person? Capricorn energy coming in. They're coming towards you. Again, it could be a spiritual awakening about their circumstances, their environment, any form of toxicities that are going on. Again, like I said, they have to walk away. They have to walk away from something that's no longer serving their highest purpose. So, which in turn could have them come back, you know, begging you back. But you could also be the one in healing mode and you could be, you know, <clears throat> if you're not entirely healed from a particular situation and this person comes back while you're in your healing phase, um, you're going to have to really think it through, okay? Because you need to... Remind yourself, how did this person leave you, Capricorn? How did they leave you? And how did they make you feel when they left? Because here's the thing, and a lot of relationship expert coaches will say this, is when the dumper gets ready to dump, the dumpy, okay, or go silent, remember, it gives the dumper relief to walk away without really, you know, they're not really taking full responsibility for their actions. And another reason why people get dumped is because the interest level of that person lowered. Okay. So in order to get the dumper to have more interest in you, you have to stay, we'll just say on a metaphoric level, tarot terms, you got to stay in a feel good energy about you and not seek in truth validation from this person. Okay. It's just a reminder. I'm not saying that you guys don't know what you're doing, 
Okay. But it's again, it's just a reminder because it takes a lot. I feel for Capricorn to get pissed off about things. Okay. They may stay silent. I've seen Capricorn stay silent before, you know, they may vent to other people about a certain situation, but when this person comes back, you're going to have to turn the tables around on this person. But if you are not fully healed and they're trying to come in and disrupt, disrupt your peace, do not respond to them. Okay. It's this flat out black and white. Okay. Now do not respond to breadcrumb text messages. They have to give you, if they're going to text you and say that they want to meet up with you, make sure that they're saying something to the effect of, hey, look, um, I was checking in to see how you're doing. However, you know, I would like to see this relationship get back up and running. Is there a time that we can talk? There are some things that I want to say. You need to see some form of a text message like that. Or if they leave a voicemail such as that. And then, you know, if you need a little bit of time to think it out before you text message them, good idea. Because you don't want to fly off the handle and get the situation deeper. And you'll want to hear this person out, but you need to know the six most important things to say to them. Because it will be kind of like a guidepost for you so that you can keep your mental thoughts and your emotional heart space in balance, Capricorn. But I also feel here too with the devil card that this person, while they've been in hermit mode, could have been obsessing over you. Could have also gotten tailwind that your life is moving in a more positive direction. If you guys have mutual friends or they know your family or your family knows them whatever the case may be, um, word gets around, okay? Because in truth, like, the Six of Wands can talk about community. It could also talk about social media platforms, things like that, okay? So some of them could be spying on you from behind the scenes for some of them. Even if you have this person blocked and they know some mutual people or they know where you live, they know where you work, they could very well be driving by your house, I'm not going to disregard that thought, but they have some kind of an obsession going on with you. Trusted ancestors, would this person in truth give Capricorn a real genuine apology, please? Mm. They'll try... But you may be the one that's on the defense. Okay, so whatever you do, hear the person out, but know what to say to them. Again, just reiterating. Magician, you could have gone through a lot of control and manipulation with this person. You could have also been dealing with a narcissist. Choose peace. If you feel like you're not ready to speak to this person, because of what they've done, choose peace, work with your trusted ancestors, your guardian angels, because that's what temperance and truth really is, is the guardian angel card. Go from your higher self, Capricorn. You might need more time to think it out, even if they say something to you, because you could be battling, you know, with trust issues with this person, whether or not what they're saying is the truth or is it the truth that they really, you know, want to meet up with you? So, and when they try to text and if they're only texting you, hey, was thinking about you. And let's just say it's been weeks on end or months on end, whatever the case may be. Do not respond to that. Because in truth, if they know what they did, they have to give you something that's real and genuine. So if they say, I want to be back with you, I want us to get back together, you know, you can even say why. Or they randomly say, I love you, I miss you, and you, you have to say, don't say, oh yeah, I love you, I miss you too. Uh-uh, don't say that. Even if it's the truth within inside of you, Capricorn, don't say that. 
You have to say, why do you love me? Why do you miss me? You seem so happy going off doing what you did. Why now? So, yeah. Take your time with this person. Don't rush into anything. But they could even get a wake-up call and, you know, realize that they want to be with you. But listen, right now in this reading, I'm not seeing any real effort. But there is a communication card here, which is the magician, because the magician can represent the sign of Gemini, okay, for that card. So... Again, it's going to be step by step by step. Don't just take them back. Don't fall into the trap. Well, I have a gift for you and I have something I want to give to you and all of this. <clears throat> you know, and say, I, you know, if you don't know what to say, just say, hey, I have some things to think about. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And keep it on the surface. But like I said, go to the channel, The Art of Love, six most important things to say when the ex, potential lover, suitor, and you can even use these statements even with friends or family members as well. They don't have to be an ex, okay, or hold that title of ex. So my awesome and amazing Capricorns, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at Blue Scorpion Gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.